So this fellow right here, let me say this too. I bought and paid for it. August didn't didn't give it to me or anything. And so, uh, but I can say this, uh, this is by far the most comfortable saddle that I have put on out of all the ones that I own. Cool. Mm -hmm. Made for this monkeybeaver.com. Cool so, most everybody that follows me, they follow August Hunnicky too. August Hunnicky, he's a tree guy. That's all he's ever done in his whole life, too, is work with trees and take them down. Still currently climbs pretty much every day. That's a water bottle holder, that's, that's what cool. that is. And that's a cell phone holder. You stick your cell phone in there. Cool. So if you like handmade stuff, uh, there's the tree gears. There's just endless amounts of stuff to buy and purchase, you know, get, pick from. August actually hand makes these saddles. Mm -hmm. Complete hand makes them. And they're called Monkey Beaver. And it's monkeybeaver.com. And that's where you order them from. And he does custom work on them too. So like the custom work is like custom colors. So of course my color happens to be orange. It's not because I like orange. It just worked out that way that it kind of went that direction. And so when we was at the show in uh, Charlotte back in November, I asked him if he would, if you know, if he would custom make me one. He said, sure he would. So uh, I fitted up. For one for with Evan and them up there and and I had uh the hold up what took a little while to get it was getting me some patches made and he told me to get some patches made and so I sourced them out here locally and it took me a little while to uh to get them and so when I finally got them then uh, I uh sent them off to him I sent all his guys him and his guys all some bunch of swag shirts and everything up there to them and this the suspenders are extra uh they're like a 100 bucks extra or something like that and then uh the water bottle holders extra the phone holders extra and then these i got some extra padding in the legs here i believe it is what he put that in but uh so i have to get it fitted up but like i said if you're wanting something that's handmade and you can't, you can't beat it. I mean, it's, uh, well, that's super cool. I'm telling you, ISC buckles on it, man, just, just smooth as can be. You don't have to wear a, a chest harness with it. He's got it fixed where you can put your ascender right there on your rope wrench or rope runner or whatever as you're walking up the road. So, uh, I'm on. I got Jill to hold it there. So I'm pretty stoked about it, man. Well, you but, should be. Mm -hmm, that is that's totally slick. cool. Slick, man. I like it. Well, mm -hmm. and so neat to um, have gone to the show mm -hmm. and gone to the booth and met him in person and mm -hmm. got fitted for it and, you know, mm -hmm. all the way to receiving it today. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very neat. Yep. And they, uh, they do a good job on these that uh, Evan and Joe August that were involved in these things. But uh just wanted to show it off while it was still all all brand new. So uh, clean. <laughs> clean, yeah. 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 But I like the the you know, like I said, it ain't cause I like orange, but the orange I, the orange stuff look actually looks really good. It just it fits my stuff so well and I I I, I don't know how it ended up getting to be orange but it did and so everything i've got i try to get it in the orange to where it uh where the whole works you know it kind of stays the same thing but 
Face out his patch. Oh, that's some that's some cool stuff. Very cool. It's gonna take me a little bit to kind of get her adjusted out because uh, there's a lot of stuff to uh, adjust on it to get it uh, get it situated. But you'll have to undo. Oh that. yeah. So this is what it looks like. On. You can see. I got it. I think I've got it pretty well adjusted. I like it. Pretty close. Uh, I'll have to adjust it just a little bit more. So this will make two, three, four. This will be my fifth saddle that I've got mm -hmm. in since about 91. I've got one weaver. I've got two old style pencils. And then I've got a pencil sequoia, which is what I've been climbing on. That's the one that y'all see me in all the time. The weaver is an old floating D-ring. And, and then this one right here, i had been holding off on buying one. I've been wanting a, a better one. Well, he's got that back done on it. I think that's going to be really cool for Mark there. We'll see how that, how that works. But I like the ISC buckles on it. Those things are slick. So, uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. As long as it keeps you safe and you're happy, I mm -hmm. like it. So it's five o'clock now. That's where I'm tied in at. Up there, the, run, the one on the left, the one I'm tied up on, tied into. It's a uh, ring to ring up there, and then I'm on a zigzag. So I'm on double route right now. All right, so when I went up, I went up on uh, the orange rope, the KM3, and I went up on a uh, throat wrench and a Prusik. Got up there and I swapped over. What orange shows up good, man. That orange just, in low light, that stuff just glows like crazy in, uh, in the low light. Even though strings on my... Uh, new bow or same way but yeah i've been in the saddle now for right at two hours it was uh it's five now it was a tad after three when i went up it i've actually had it on longer than that though i've had it on probably another 30 more minutes longer than that but so like i said with jill in there this i've got a weaver that i bought this is the first one i ever bought in 91 or 92 and then uh clean this lens there we go and then i had two regular pencils they were way before the sequoias and all that stuff came along and i've actually still got all those saddles too by the way and uh they came from bailey's logging supply years ago they were probably bought Probably about in the late 90s, 98, 99, right around in there. May have been 98 because we had some storms come through. And then I bought the Sequoia. It was the last one that I bought. And the Sequoia, I never could get it comfortable like I would have liked it to. And um, so this all right here, let me say this too. I bought and paid for it. August didn't didn't give it to me or anything. And so, uh, but I can say this, uh, this is by far the most comfortable saddle that I have put on out of all the ones that I own. And I've, I've climbed in the Nevo too. They're, they're nice, but they're not, they're not monkey beaver nice. You know what I mean? I mean, it's got a cool name anyhow, monkey beaver. Uh, so, I mean, that's, you don't get no cooler than, than the name Monkey Beaver. But, uh, yeah, so if you're in the market for a new saddle, and, of course, August will, he hand makes these things. Him and Evan and Joe and him up there at his shop, they make them. And he'll custom do the colors for you if you want the colors. He'll sew the patches on. I've got the, let's see, you can't see that one. There you can. Yeah, you can see the front of my leg right there. Got one on the back of each leg. So he can put patches on for you, whatever. Whatever you want. And it's just cool because you know somebody. 
I met him uh, in 21 up there at in Indianapolis, up there at the uh, TCIE show up there. And then again in Charlotte, and that's when I got uh, fitted for one. But if you're in the market for a saddle, I would look hard at the monkey beaver stuff. I'm wearing a medium. I weigh right at 170 pounds. I'm 5'9". And my waist right now currently is about a 33. And I had to pull it in. So, I mean, you could pull this one in further than what I've got it and let it out a lot more than what I've got it. So, a medium... I figured I'd probably end up in a large, but medium fit me good. And then I got the shoulder harnesses. The harness, I mean, if you don't, if you're not climbing with a shoulder harness, you, you don't know what you're missing out on because like when you got the saw hanging on your side and you stand up and you kind of get some weight off the rope without the shoulder harness, the dang saw is trying to pull the saddle down off of you. With the shoulder harness, man, it's all, it's all on it. But a pretty nice, this first, first run on it. Uh -huh. and uh so far so good i've got a little bit of adjusting to do but good quality stuff man i'm fixing to drop on down to the ground and well, i'll let y'all go down in here i'm gonna go on down and don't go too fast man i'll be bad to hit the ground on camera hard Darn zigzag, man, on double route. It's so freaking smooth. I actually got a, uh, got a Road Runner Pro right there. And then there's a preset with the uh, root wrench. So I'm pretty happy with it. And I did some trimming while I was up there. All with a hand saw. I didn't have a, uh, just have a chainsaw up there with me because you tend I, i've noticed like when i'm pruning if i've got a hand saw i don't make near as big of cuts and cut the biggest stuff so it kind of kind of uh makes you stay on the smaller cuts but i got a i got a few more things that uh, got to swap over from a sequoia harness just laying there on the ground i'll get that get them moved over and then It'll be good. I'll probably climb with it again tomorrow. Play with it. I'm going to pull my roast down because it's supposed to rain, I think, in the morning here. We'll do that. So, yep. 